Time travel has been a staple of science fiction for over a hundred years. Whether you're a fan of alternate history like me, or you are into other much smaller, more niche fandoms, there have been scientists of all stripes who have theorized about time travel and whether or not it's possible. I'm not going to talk about that because one, being a history major, I am nowhere near qualified or competent enough to explain the physics, relativity, or anything else sciency. And two, I am far more interested in the consequences of time travel rather than its possibility. There are two main time travel ideas, or at least there are two that I can comprehend. Hand. The one you have probably heard of is the Multiple Worlds Interpretation, or Multiverse Theory. The basic idea behind this is that for every decision you make, there is a separate universe. If you decided to have something different for lunch today, then there is an entire universe where the only difference from the one you are in now is what you had for lunch. This is how the idea applies to time travel. If you go back in time and kill Baby Hitler, first of all, you didn't need to kill Baby Hitler. You could have just kidnapped him and gave him to someone else to raise where he would become less... Hitlery. Second, if you did this and then returned to your own time, nothing would be different. This is because according to multiverse theory, all you did was create another universe where Hitler didn't grow up to become the Hitler we all know and loathe. Multiverse theory is the favorite of a number of writers, scientists, and pseudo-philosophers who think it's a perfect model for a creatorless universe, which is a video for another time. However, there is another problem with time travel called the grandfather paradox, and it goes like this. If you go back in time to before your father was conceived and kill your grandfather, then your father father will never be born, and subsequently you would never be born either. This is where the paradox comes in. If you were never born, then you couldn't have gone back in time to kill your grandfather. Because of this, your father was still conceived and you were still born. This theory could be applied to any event in history. Let's say you wanted to go back in time and stop the assassination of John F. Kennedy. Even if you succeed and Stephen King writes a best-selling book about it, Kennedy would still wind up dead because him being alive is dependent upon you having the motivation to travel back in time and save him. If he was alive, you wouldn't have the motivation to do so. Therefore, you didn't go back in time to save him, and therefore he would still be dead. Thereby giving you the motivation to go back in time, and a never-ending cycle ensues as the air starts to taste like copper. The thesis of the grandfather paradox is that it is impossible to change the past, even if we had the ability to travel back in time. Of course, it is possible that multiverse theory and the grandfather paradox are both real, but the grandfather paradox simply explaining why your own universe isn't changed from traveling back in time. But like I said earlier, I'm a history major, and from what I can tell, there are no recorded instances of time travel. But then again, if it were possible, would we even have records of this? And now my brain hurts. Thanks for watching.